in order to understand statistics and probability, you have to get a sense of what it means to have a random variable. A random variable is like any other variable you might see in algebra, but it's not solvable with a constant value. A random variable is one whose output, whose value can change depending on the number of times you ask for an event from it or you draw a value out of it. What do I mean by that? Well, a random variable is just a way of describing a potential random process in a numerical form. So let's say we had a random variable and we defined it to be the, the value that, uh, of a die roll. So this is equal to the value of die. And we know what the potential values of that could be. There's only six of them. And so what we have are the numbers, the numbers that X can take on here are one, two, three, four, five, and six. So X is the random variable which describes the value of a rolled die. And we know the bounds of that. So we know the minimum and the maximum numbers that this random variable can take on. But at any given time, if we say, what is the value of X? We don't actually know. It can be any of these because that's what it means to be random. A random variable is one that changes its, its, its output without any known fixed point. We can assign a probability. We can say the pro there is some probability that the value of X is three, and we can actually quantify this. So we could write notation like this, that says the probability that X is equal to three. And that, that what's this, what this is saying is if you roll the die, what is the probability that it came out as a three? Well, if it's a fair die and we're pretending that it is, then it's just the likely, the probability that you get a three and not any of the others. And for that, it's just one out of six. And so the, in this situation, right, we can describe with this syntax, the probability of X being a particular value, even though we don't know the actual value of X. If we rolled a die a million times and asked for and, and asked for the value of X a million times, we would expect that one sixth of the time, the value would be three. So similarly, we can ask a different question. What's the probability that X is greater than four? Well, if we look at, again, the possible options, what we're saying is what's the probability that it's five or six? Well, that's two out of six, and that's two over six, which is equal to one over three. This is what it means to work with random variables. They're not like algebra variables that you can just straight out multiply or solve for a fixed value. You solve for a distribution of values. You solve for a probability of values. You get a sense of what that random variable could take on. Sometimes random variables, uh, in this case, we have discrete random variables where the variable can take on only explicit values. That need not be the case. We could define another random variable say random variable y, and here we're going to say that y is equal to the speed of a car. And if we're looking at that type of a variable, well, that the speed of the car is going to be bounded by zero and is going to go up to some speed. Let's say it can go up to 150 miles an hour. And it can go in between at any arbitrary value. And so this would be a continuous random variable. This one is continuous. While this one, the value of the die is discrete. 
the distinction is important to make sense of and you treat them a little differently, but by and large, you can ask similar questions. You can ask for the probabilities of the speed of the car being greater or less than something. Same with the same with the value of die, but this is the nomenclature. These are the terms to use when you're talking about random variables. We'll build on this in subsequent ideas.